my most favorite purchase for this year and it's menstrual cup. guys and welcome back to my channel it's me again Jana girl and for today I am going to talk about a thing that men doesn't want to hear about but I really think for girls it's going to be really helpful so sorry babe if I'm going to make a vlog about this he's like that is not appropriate it's not the content is just not meaningful but girl power Today I'm going to talk about my most favorite purchase for this year and it's menstrual cup. So if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Jana and I am an international student in a registered nurse here in Australia, Melbourne particularly. And I make videos about my journey here, like how I became a student, how I am doing as a registered nurse. And from time to time, I just make this random videos that I think would be helpful. So yeah, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. I would like first to thank you guys for subscribing and watching again. I have now, um, how many followers, do, how many subscribers do I have? I have now 215 YouTube subscribers. Woohoo! So thank you again for watching. So from my last video guys, I received heaps of messages on my um, Facebook not hips ang OA ng hips just like five messages from random viewers but yeah they were like inquiring about my journey here or basically my student visa um if you guys want to connect with me i think it's best if you message me on instagram and it's um janice Renelia because um on facebook they don't really notify me when um a person who is not my friend messages me so yeah connect with me on instagram guys Medyo demure lang tayo today guys because it's already 1am here and I don't want to wake up my housemates. That's why I am using my soft voice. Well, my soft voice. Nag-iibang anyo ka. So what is menstrual cup nga ba? Let me start by introducing it because I think not everyone is familiar with it. So it is this cup is a feminine device that we put into our vagina when we have our period and um, basically it will be an alternative for your tampons or pads whatever you guys are using and um, it's made up of medical grade silicone so yeah um just a quick history about this cup um these cups were actually invented way way before around 1860s or 1870s i think and um they just had a different concept about it but it's very similar so the issue before is that women are not really keen to clean it so fast forward now to the 21st century wherein we have invented uh, medical grade silicone and it is the material that we use for our cups today so am i telling this product to you guys why am i so in love with it that i even said that it's a life changer or life changing ano bang tama? well either of the two it is really my best purchase for this year so first it is um eco-friendly if you guys are concerned about what's happening in our world right now all the pollution and the waste that's um, a big contributor to our climate change as well purchasing this cup will going to lessen our waste because you have you're going to use it for like a year or two so, so less waste means we can save the earth more second is um it is cost effective and um it might seem expensive at first because this cup will cost around $50 or let's say 1,500 pesos whereas a, a pack of sanitary pad or tampons is I think 200 but you are going to use it for a year or two so it will help you save money. Third is it's really comfortable for me and I don't have to change it every four hours because 
in using our pads, we do change it every four hours, right? Just to avoid the bacteria, the buildup of the bacteria and um, the smell. So here, um, we just have to change it every six to eight hours. And um, there is no smell actually because the blood only gets smell when it is being oxidized. Guys, just a quick disclaimer. I am not saying that this cup is the best um, option for you to use when you have your period. I am just introducing this cup so that other people will have an idea about it as well. Let's start with a review. How long have I been using this cup na nga ba? So I bought this um, Diva cup three months ago so meaning i've been using it for three months now and i super duper love it like it's like my um best purchase for this year if you guys are like planning to get yourself a gift because christmas is coming and you don't want to splurge on things that will make you feel guilty because of all the things that's happening around us well i think that um, menstrual cup is like the best gift that you can give to yourself I, it sounds OA but it's really life changing I immediately tried it because I don't wanna use it on the day of my period I don't wanna go through that hassle after my shower I tried to take it out for like almost 2 hours and I was getting really panicky um, I was already thinking about going to the GP next day and ask her to take it out because I was really having a hard time. I, I didn't know that it was that hard. I really want to know how to use it. So I kept watching more videos on how to like take it out because I did not have a problem on inserting it. Well, actually I did have... Um, it was like slapping my vagina because I'll show you guys. This, because there are just ways to put it in and um, like when it pops outside of my vagina it's going to be like that and it really hurts so I did have trouble putting it in and taking it out on my first attempt so the day of my period came and I was super excited to use this cup it was like I bought a new dress and was so happy to wear it that's the feeling yeah so anyway um my first day i did experience some leaks and i asked my friend what am i doing something wrong and she said that maybe it's not inflated inside so apparently after putting it in you have to feel if it's inflated like that like it covers the cervix so after doing that um, my second day, I didn't have any leaks. So third day came and I usually get like a heavy flow on my third day. And uh, I empty this every 8 hours. So on my third day, I after like 6 hours, I've been having some leaks already. So apparently, it's full. So what I did is I just emptied it every 4 hours just to avoid the leaks. So, just a few questions from my friends who's willing to try this cup. Hindi ba siya messy pag need tanggalin? If you guys are afraid of blood, just don't make a switch because baka himatayin kayo. Um, my first try uh, was really messy. Um, I'm so fortunate that I'm just at home and I'm not at work because I'm learning the techniques on how to remove it without being messy. So my advice is just keep on practicing because it takes a while for you guys to get the techniques. So next question, do I need to sterilize it every time that I am going to use it? When I have my period, I don't really sterilize it like every after use. What I do is well, I remove it and clean it using my hands and let it sit on the hot water while I do my shower. So just that's how I do it when I have my period. And when I'm outside, like I'm at work, what I do is I'll just um, take it out and wash it on the sink. Well, because Australia is known for their clean tap water, so I think it's safe to use. And so far, I'm not having any problems. So guys, just make sure to wash your hands 
thoroughly with soap and water before inserting the cup and after removing it and while cleaning your cup make sure that there is no visible dirt so if you guys think that you need to sterilize it every after use then do it it's up to you you do you there is nothing wrong with being more extra careful and if you just have that time then just do it so next question how does it feel when it's inside do you feel like there is something in there it really feels like there is nothing there like nothing is going on inside my vagina my cervix or my uterus like nothing nada wala talaga so third question or fourth um can I use it while I do my exercise? So, as you know that I am a nurse and we do a lot of walking in the ward. So, I think I like to say I have 10,000 steps in my 8-hour shift. So, it's like also an exercise. And nope, there are no leaks. So, I think it is okay for exercise. So, if you guys have already tried using this cup, um, and you think that it is not for you well just have more patience and maybe a few more tries before you actually decide and um, if it's really not then just go back to using sanitary pads or tampon whichever it is that you think that is best for you so that's it guys and that is my line that this video is about to end <laughs> If you guys want to know more about cups, how to insert it, how to avoid leaks, comment down below if you want me to make another video about this because I think this video has been too long. So guys, what are your thoughts about menstrual cups? Do you think that you are going to use it or try it? Please comment down. I want to know about your insights. If you have any questions, I will reply to your comments. And um, yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching my channel and see you on my next video. Bye-bye!